Allison. Can you explain what internet is? Pretty amazing. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today we're going to be learning how to do some pixel art using Google Sheets. So make sure you're signed into your Scan Warriors account when you open up Google Chrome. Click on the top right. Yours should say your first name dot last name at scanwarriors.com. Click on your waffle. Go to Classroom, and then you would click your proper class that uh, that you're in. For the sake of this video, I'm going to click on my tutorial video class, my fake class. Click on the assignment at the top, Pixel Art Part One. Okay, for this assignment, it's 15 points, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to create a pixel art design uh, from the options below using Google Sheets. So the definition of pixel is the smallest unit of a digital image or a graphic that can be displayed and represented on a digital display. So we've already talked about this in class, so hopefully you have a better idea of what that is. Same four steps as always. Watch this video, pause and play it as needed. Create a pixel art from the examples below using Google Sheets. Review to make sure you met all the requirements, and then turn in on Google Classroom. So what are the requirements? These may not make sense right now, but the things you need to have are uh, make sure you make your cells into squares, add another 26 columns to the right, create a color key using numbers, create conditional formatting for numbers and colors, and you must choose one pixel art example from below and copy it. Now, this, these things may not make sense right now, but as you get further along in this tutorial video, you'll know how to do all these things. Scoring. Here's the scoring. Three points for each of the requirements. Here's all the examples you can choose. Your job is to choose one of these that you like most, and you're going to be copying this design using Google Sheets. The tutorial video that I'm making right now will be down here. So remember, your work shows up on the right, so you're just going to click on this one. And this is, it'll say your name at the top and it'll say Pixel Art Part 1. Okay, so we talked about this before. These are all individual cells. The letters up top going down, okay, these are all called columns. Okay, you can click the letter and it highlights the whole column or you can select individual cells. Okay, over here, these are rows. Okay, rows, numbers on the right. You can click on the numbers to highlight the whole row or click individual cells. So for pixel art, we want some squares like we talked about. So we're going to first set up our Google Sheet to do pixel art. Okay, and now we need to set up our Google Sheet so that way everything is a square and then we can begin our pixel art design. So what you want to do is click this magical button right here. It selects everything. And to see better too, I'm going to zoom in. You just click on this. This is a zoom. I'm going to go to about 200. So you just click on this. It selects everything. And then you're going to go right here and put your mouse till you see that blue line and that arrow. Okay, see the blue line and that black arrow? You're just going to click that and you can drag left or right. I'm just going to drag left until I think it looks like a square. And it makes all of them that. I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay, that looks like a square to me. I'm going to zoom back out to 100%, which is normal view. And if you notice, you kind of run out of room over here. It stops after Z. So what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves more space. This is also one of the requirements. So right now we just did must make cells into squares. Now we're going to add another 26 columns to the right. So just click the magical button again. And then what you're going to do is right click now. Just move your mouse anywhere on the, on the uh, screen here and then right click. So on your touchpad down below, not on the left side, it'll be on the right side. Right click. Okay, and what you're going to do is come to this one, insert 26 columns. Okay, remember, columns are the letters that go up and down. So insert 26 columns. There we go. Now we have A through Z, and then it starts over. A, A, B, B, C, C, all the way through. So that way you have more space to make your pixel art. You can scroll down. Plenty of rows down here, 70, 80, 90. Okay, it just goes on forever. All right, so now we just did the second part, which was... Um, adding 26 columns to the right. Okay, now I need to go back to Google Classroom and pick one of these photos. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start with this one. I'll do the mushroom. That looks kind of cool to me. And what you want to do is you can just right click. Okay, again, right click on this photo. Okay, and just go copy. Okay, copy image. Okay, and then you can come over here and press paste. So you can right click and do paste, or you can do control, C, T, R, L, and V. Okay, now I have this photo in here. 
So again, I'll do that one more time. You find a photo that you want, you click on it, you right click on the photo, copy the image, you don't even need to save it, just copy it, go to your slides, right click and do paste, okay, or you can do control and V as in Victor, and it pastes it, copy, paste. Now we're just going to go to the corner and click and drag and shrink it down, click and drag and shrink it down. I'm just going to kind of move that over here out of the way for now. Okay, so now we need some colors. So here's how you do the conditional formatting. So this is now the next step in the assignment, or the next requirement. You must create conditional formatting for numbers and colors. So what we're going to do is we are going to hit this magical button again, and then we are going to do format and do conditional formatting. Okay, and so what this is doing is I'm programming this Google Sheet that when something happens, then this happens. So if this happens, then this happens. So that's called conditional formatting. So here's the rules. First of all, it says apply to range. So this is doing the entire range of this whole sheet. The format rules. Okay, Format cells if. Okay, So we want to hit this drop down arrow. And what we want to do is scroll down to where it says is equal to. So again, format cell rules, we don't want to leave is not empty. Click on the little arrow and scroll down until you find is equal to. Okay, and then the value or formula, we're going to put the number 1. Okay, and what we need to do now is just drag, drag your picture, you can move it over. Just find your picture. We need to find the color. So we're just going to do the first color as the outer one. We'll just do black. So what we need to do is we're telling that when this cell is equal to number one, we want the cell to turn black, okay, or the little pixel. So what we need to do is change the fill color right here to black, and then also the text color to black. So they're both the same. Okay, I'll move myself out of the way here, and then just click Done. Okay, so now what we do, you see how there's number one right here? Okay, this is number one. We're just going to click on A1. 1A, put a 1 in the box, and hit enter. And then look, it turned black. So now if I come over to any of these cells and I hit 1 and I just hit the down arrow or I hit enter, they all turn black. 1, enter. 1, down. 1, down. They all turn black. So this is now how we're going to start painting or creating our cell or pixel art um, uh, projects. So again, to go back, say you don't want these, you just hit this back arrow right here, undo, or do control Z, as in zoo, control Z. So hold down control, press Z, 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 Z. Oh, went back too far, no problem. Hit the forward arrow, that's redo, it goes forward, control Z. Mine says a little Apple thing because I'm on a P, uh, Apple or Mac computer, yours will say control C, T, R, L, and I can go forward. There we go, or I can go back. Or I can go forward, 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 back, 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 back. Okay, so now we have number one. We need to get the other colors on here first, conditionally formatted. So now I need to get the color red. Okay, so now I need to add another color. So I'm going to select this again, and I'm going to go format, and I'm going to go conditional formatting again. And I'm going to go ahead and click add another rule. And if you notice, the range is the A1. And then to Z1000, it just goes on forever. And same thing, if cell um, is not empty, we don't want that one. We're going to scroll down to is equal to, and now we're going to do the number 2. Number 2, and we want it to be that red color. So we're going to fill the color as this red, fill the text color as well as red, and then click Done. Okay, and just close that for now. Now I come over here. I press the number 2, hit enter, and then it's red. So now I have my red. Okay, so this is what I'm showing you right now is your conditional formatting um, for your numbers and colors, and this is the also the creating the color key. So this over here on the left is our key, okay, color key. So now we just need a white. I know um, the cells are already kind of white, but we're just going to do a white anyway for the sake of this. So we're going to do the magic button, format, conditional formatting, add another rule, okay, scroll down to um, is equal to, and then we're going to do number three, because we're on number three over there, and we're going to fill with white, and then the 
font color text color is also white click done and then I do three and now it's white okay All right, it's hard to tell on that one but that's okay but for the sake of this we know that it happens that it is white okay so now what you do is you're gonna start creating this as best you can you can maybe start from the top you can even move this over or shrink it a little bit okay so you have more space move it around wherever you want okay now I'm gonna start with the I'm just gonna start making the top so I'm gonna kinda leave my space over here on the left for the side of the mushroom I'm gonna kinda start in the middle over here and I'm gonna start building my mushroom so I just need to do one for black for the top part for this piece right here so right here I'm gonna focus on that top part I'm just gonna hit one and move over one 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 okay that looks good to me now I'm gonna go down one one and just kind of copy the design of this mushroom okay so again you can move the photo out of the way um, wherever you want just click on it and now you can move it anywhere and then you can scroll down and up left and right as well okay by these down here you can scroll you can scroll here as well up and down okay and again if you mess up you can always hit the back arrow or control control Z okay, as in zoo all right so that is the assignment and then for these other projects these other colors you'll just need to add additional colors over here this is your color key in the a column so make sure you add those additional colors to your pixel art and have fun creating your pixel art so we've done all the requirements now we turned the cells into squares we've added 26 columns to the right we created that color key we did the conditional formatting for the numbers and the colors and then you're choosing one and copying it one of these and copying it down below and once you're done you can just click on this photo and then press the backspace or delete button and then go back to google classroom and go press turn in and turn in all right that's it let me know if you have any questions